Good afternoon, kindergarten friends. Today, you are going to look in your folder and find the two worksheets that say Wednesday. This will be what we do for science. You are going to cut out each six of these pictures and paste them right here where it says pumpkin life cycle in order of what happens in a pumpkin's life. You're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. This will be the order that the pumpkin's life cycle is. We are going to read this book from seed to pumpkin, find out what a pumpkin's life cycle is. Now, this book is nonfiction. I know that there are illustrations, but it is still nonfiction. So it is real and true, and we can figure out information and facts from this book. Let's read it together. From Seed to Pumpkin by Wendy Pepper. When spring winds warm the earth, a farmer plants hundreds of pumpkin seeds. This is the farmer planting all the seeds. bring it a little bit closer so you can see it better. Every pumpkin seed can become a baby pumpkin plant. Underground, covered with dark, moist soil, the baby plants begin to grow. Let's look at our picture here. It says that every pumpkin seed right here becomes a pumpkin plant. So we know that this happens first. As the plants get bigger, the seeds crack open, stems sprout up, and roots dig down. Inside the roots are tubes. Water travels up these tubes the way juice goes up a straw. So the plants get bigger as the seed cracks. You can see the seed cracking here and here, and the plant beginning to grow and sprout. Oh my goodness. I'm in trouble turning pages. In less than two weeks from planting time, green shoots poke up through the earth. Look at this. These shoots grow into tiny seedlings. Two leaves called seed leaves uncurl on each stem. They reach up toward the sun. So you see, <coughs> excuse me, that the pumpkin seed is beginning to sprout. Sunlight gives these leaves energy to make food. Like us, plants need food to grow. But green plants do not eat food as we do. Their leaves make it. So do you remember the needs of a plant? We didn't say that they need sandwiches like we do. They get food a little bit differently than we do. To make food, plants need light, water, and air. Do you remember we also said that they need space? Leaves catch the sunlight, roots soak up the rainwater, and little openings in the leaves let air in. Using energy from the sun, the leaves mix up the air with the water from the soil and make sugar. This feeds the plants. Soon, broad prickly leaves with jagged edges unfold on the stems. The new leaves are rough and prickly, but the seed leaves are smooth and rounded. You can see a smooth leaf, it kind of looks like a circle, and then a jagged leaf that goes up and down very quickly. The seed, the seed leaves dry up and now the new leaves make food for their pumpkin plants. Each pumpkin stem has many sets of tubes. One tube in each set takes water from the soil up to the leaves so they can make sugar. The other tube in each set sends food back down so the pumpkin can grow. 
The days grow warmer, the farmer tends the pumpkin patch to keep weeds out. Weeds take water from the soil. Pumpkin plants need water to grow. Pumpkin plants don't stand up tall. As the stems grow longer, they sprawl over the ground. Before long, twisted tangled vines cover the pumpkin patch. So vines are covering the patch right now. Ooh, look, this doesn't look so much like a vine. Let's see what this is. Soon flower buds appear on the vines. After each bud opens, its orange petals grow bigger and bigger. They look like bright orange umbrellas. Look, it doesn't yet look like a pumpkin, but the color is starting to look a little bit like a pumpkin color. During the heat of the day, the flowers close. They open again during the cool nights and early mornings. The bright orange flowers attract swarms of bees and the bees buzz around, carrying yellow pollen from the male flowers to the female flowers. Now the pumpkins can grow. The petals wither away where the flowers bloomed. Tiny hard fruits begin to grow. Under hundreds of these cling to the vines. So look, this pumpkin is green right now. It doesn't really look like a pumpkin. We normally see orange pumpkins. The days grow hot. All summer, the warm sun and cool rain help the tiny fruits to grow larger and larger. You look, they're still green pumpkins. They look a little bit more rounded like a pumpkin, but they are not yet orange. Soon summer is over, the corn stalks next to the pumpkin patch turn brown. Leaves on the trees turn red, orange, and yellow. And the pumpkins change color too. Look, what color are they changing into? Very good, they're turning orange. As they ripen, they change from green to yellow. See the yellows right here. And then to orange. And just four small, flat, in just four months, small, flat, white pumpkin seeds have grown into big, fat, orange pumpkins. Look, all the kids are playing on them and hopping on them. They look bigger than the kids. The pumpkins are ripe and round with lumps and bumps. They come in all sizes and shapes, and they're waiting in the autumn sun. Some pumpkins will be carved into jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween. Have you ever carved a jack-o'-lantern? I love carving them, but mine don't look that pretty. Some will be baked into pumpkin pies for Thanksgiving. Mm, I love some pumpkin pie. Colorful leaves turn brown. Winter winds begin to blow, and soon the trees turn bare. The farmer looks out over the pumpkin patch where only a few dead vines remain. But when spring winds warm the earth once again, he will plant hundreds of pumpkin seeds. And once again, they will grow from seed to pumpkin. The end. So now your job is to cut out all six pictures on this page. Just like this, open, shut, open, shut. That's the way we cut. And you're gonna maybe replay the story that I just read to see what happens first and then next until you have all six pictures glued onto your life cycle. Now, I remember that at the beginning of the story, if we look back, if we go to the beginning of our story, I remember 
that we talked about seeds. So I know that the first picture I'm going to glue onto my, onto my life cycle will be the seeds. I'm going to take my glue stick, and remember we don't need a lot of glue, just a little. And I'm going to put some glue on the back and glue it onto the number one spot. Just like this. And then I remember, and again, you might need to replay the story and that's okay, that the seeds sprouted and they turned into little tiny sprouts. So I'm gonna find that picture, I'm gonna glue the back of it just like this, not a lot of glue. And you can't really see the number two here, but this comes next. And I'm going to do that until I have all six of my pictures. Once I'm done, I'm going to draw, I'm going to color my pictures. Now, what color makes sense with a seed? What purple makes sense? I have never seen a purple seed. I'm going to do a tan color. So a little bit of brown, that seems to make sense. And remember our color rules, inside the lines, fill all the empty white spaces, and the colors make sense. What color should I color? I will color around this, maybe a lighter color, maybe a dark yellow, because that makes sense. That's what our seed looked like in our story. And I'm going to color all of my pictures once I am done. Now it's your turn. I can't wait to see all of your pumpkin life cycles. Bye. Have a great night.